Well, Matt, how does it feel to be back at Union uh, for this reunion? It's great. Uh, it's, it's been a few years since I've been back and seeing a couple of the, the guys here, familiar faces. So it's, it's good to be back, see all the, the staff, uh, bags, you know, Cheryl, Dan in the weight room. So it's, it's good to see everyone. What does it feel like? I mean, does it feel like 10 years? Does it feel like yesterday with winning the national championship? It still feels like yesterday. I couldn't, uh, we were actually talking about it on the way up. Just hasn't been that long. But, uh, you know, like I said, it's, it's really good to be back and to see everyone. What was the turning point of that season? Uh, there could have been a few. I mean, I think, um, you know, the way we kind of came together there in January, the um, you know, after <laughs> after RPI, you know, we had some adversity there. And you know, I think we just kind of gelled together after that. Of course, uh, you had a pivotal, unfortunate pivotal role in that Boston College game, semifinal game, where you got five in a major, the game misconduct. And the guys killed it off, ended up scoring a goal right after the uh, power, uh, power play expired. I mean, how relieved were you that they came through and um, uh, you know, killed off that penalty? Yeah, play? that was a, a tough few minutes in the locker room for me watching that on TV. That, uh, it's actually Kevin Sullivan's claim to fame as he uh, <laughs> went down on that breakaway and uh, Vecchione ended up scoring the goal. Yeah. Um, that Winning the championship, what, what was that like when the clock hit zero down in Philadelphia and the the celebration was on the way. Yeah, I think what was you know most special about it is you know we we had the lead there and the final shift was all of us seniors uh, on the ice together and you know culmination of guys you work hard with for four years and, and having that opportunity to, to be on the ice one last time with them was pretty special. I mean, I know in a time since, I mean, unfortunately, Rick was uh, you know resigned with under some circumstances. What, what does the team feel that was, was does the team you know, wish he was still coaching or is there, what, what, what was that feeling like when he was he resigned? Yeah, I mean, I think, you know, we all had a great relationship with Rick. Um, you know, we wish him nothing but the best. Um, he was able to do something pretty special here at Union and, you know, something we'll certainly never forget. Yeah, obviously, you know, winning the uh, championship without scholarship players. Yeah, and Union started to phase that in now. But I mean, does that make it all remarkable, to winning a national championship against a program like Minnesota? which gives out athletic scholarships to do that and uh, win a championship against them. Is that still, you know, look, you look back on it now, and how impressive that is? Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think it's it was just a, a group of guys, almost right place, right time, the way we all kind of fit together and, you know, bought into a to a system and, you know, worked hard every day to, to get the ultimate goal. Do you think this program could get back there? Absolutely, absolutely. I think this is, it's got a great foundation of this program. Um, you know, I had a chance to catch up with some of the guys earlier and meet some of the team for the first time. So, uh, absolutely, I think it's, it's in the room. What are you doing now? Uh, I'm in New York City. I'm doing uh, media.